Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. This is Growing Wisdom. I'm here today at the New England Wildflower Society in Framingham, Mass. I'm with Scott LaFleur, and we're here to educate people about invasive plants. Those are the bad guys. You've actually got this cute little invasive plant jail. So you've captured the most wanted. And let's talk about the six here that you have, and how do you get rid of them? How do you identify them? Well, the six that we have here are the Norway maple, We have the burning bush. We have autumn olive. We have bittersweet. And we have the uh, buckthorn. And those are some of the worst ones you'll find here in New England. And the thing about being autumn at this time of year, really an adaptation of, of these invasive plants. They hold their leaves longer than anything else. So the Norway maple is going to be the last maple that has its leaves on it. That burning bush gets its name from turning a bright fiery red. The autumn olive has a nice sort of silvery undertone to the leaves, but again it will hold its leaves really really late into the season. Same with the Japanese knotweed and the bittersweet. They're all around in fall and they're all very prominent. Scott, some folks may not understand why it's significant, like big deal. So I see this in the woods. Why is it a problem? Well, the thing with invasive plants is they move into our natural areas and they start to take over and they start forcing out our native plants. And so even though autumn olive might be something you see birds eating, it's like junk food for them. It's not as nutritious as, nutritious as the native plants and the native seeds and, and berries that they need to eat. So Scott, I'm at home and I identify one of these. How do I get rid of it? Well, the best way to do it is just to try to remove it by pulling it. That, that's the most organic and the least sort of intrusive to things. There's also more organic ways of using vinegar as an herbicide, and you can actually turn to herbicides if you follow the label and the instructions properly. So if I identify these in the yard, should I take them out fall, spring, winter, when's the best time? Usually autumn is actually the best time to do it. One, you can see them more easily, and two, if you're cutting the stem of, say, a bittersweet and you paint it with an herbicide, this time of year the plants are taking all that nutrition back into their root system. So cutting it, painting with the herbicide, it's actually sucking the herbicide directly down into the roots. Other than the six bad guys that we've identified here today, are there other plants that are out there that are also sort of on the invasive list that you'd recommend looking out for? There definitely are, and you can go to the newenglandwild.org website, and we also have a great brochure of native plants that I'll give you, Dave, that okay. you can learn more about them, learn the alternatives that there are, and ways to get rid of them. So these are just plants that we should not have in the garden. You absolutely got it. Scott, thank you very much. Very informative as usual. We talk a lot at Growing Wisdom about planting plants, but today we've talked about taking some of those invasive plants, removing them from the environment, and allowing the native plant to take hold. Come back every week for all of our videos at Growing Wisdom.